<clears throat> a very good afternoon once again to all of you to all the participants on the third day of inspiras 7 days online hands on workshop on statistical data analysis using spss by our renowned eminent speaker professor dr manvinder singh pawa ji i again welcome you sir <laughs> we are uh, learning a lot from you sir and yesterday was the main uh, topic i should say the data entry data analysis we have learned and uh, the topics to be covered today with hands on practices on spss are practical instant online real time data collection creation making the data ready for analysis in spss so now i request professor uh, manvinder singh pawa sir to start the session sir very good evening to all of you and uh, welcome back again aapko fir se main aa gaya bore karne pakane kamal khan ji namaste चलिए सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द व्हाट वी हैव डन यस्टरडे सो यस्टरडे वाज अ डे व्हेन यू हैव लर्न्ड एक्चुअली हाउ टू एंटर द डेटा इन एसपीएसएस आई हैव गिवन यू वन शीट आल्सो आई होप यू हैव ऑल डन इट बिकॉज़ आई हैव रिसीव्ड अबाउट 57 रिस्पोंसेस ऑन माय मोबाइल दोस हु हैव डन इट एंड सेंट द स्क्रीनशॉट टू मी एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट यू ऑल आर लर्निंग इट वेरी वेल and even i am learning along with you there are certain problems which are to be taken care of and i am also finding new solutions to it so that's a, a real time learning happening so uh, i'm very happy to just see the responses now uh, before uh, proceeding further uh, let us just uh, see uh, if you have any problem or if you are uh, if you are struck with certain things or if you want to ask me certain things so you are most welcome for it so uh, let us just uh, take your queries and take your experiences also one by one that how you have done it and uh, what for the challenges you faced and how you overcome it yes, so yes. Uh, let us start from uh, any one of you who raises yes, the yes sir priti priti tanna sir priti tanna and and i have also sent uh, your sir uh, the file which you have sent me to all the participants they must be you know i think they must be saved in their desktop or pc yeah ravi ji you are a, a little bit less audible today uh, now sir no am i audible uh, means uh, might be i might have uh... no no sir uh yeah it is okay but the thing is that uh, fine you may please proceed aapki awaaz to bilkul fasla sa hai sir meri awaaz ab ab bhi nahi aa rahi abhi bhi nahi aa rahi thoda zor se boliye bas हो सकता है शायद ओह सॉरी 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 मैं क्या वो उसका स्पीकर यूज कर रहा था आई आई वुड हैव टेकन हां आई थिंक वो ही मैंने कहा इससे ज्यादा तेज मैं कैसे बोलूं फेयर इनफ नो प्रॉब्लम सो लेट अस टेक द क्वेरीज एंड लेट अस टेक द थिंग्स इन बाय बाय या प्रीति प्रीति तना जी प्लीज अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ यस प्रीति जी अनम्यूट कर लीजिए आप अपना Okay, she's not unmute. Okay, yes, Piti. Yes. Sir, actually, uh, good afternoon, sir. Very um, good afternoon. Uh, sir, actually, uh, sheet हमने prepare किया first time किया. आपके guidelines से जो आपने कल sheet दी थी उसके base से कुछ हमने अपने changes किए अपने college के data के हिसाब से. But उसमें जो दो column थे. Uh, एक था सेक्शन और एक जीपीए <coughs> उसमें हम कुछ लिख नहीं पाए मतलब वो हमें शायद क्लियर नहीं हुआ उसमें एक्चुअली कोडिंग कैसे करनी थी क्या उसमें करना था जैसे अभी एक शीट मेल में मोदी सर ने सेंड किया उसमें हमने देखा <coughs> तो उसमें भी मतलब सेक्शन में भी कुछ डाटा डाला हुआ था और जीपीए में भी कुछ डाटा थे ओके okay. लेकिन वो चीज हम नहीं कर पाए Uh, well you have uh, you have been doing the <clears throat> because similar question was the i resolved one of these similar questions also one i hope uh, 
Uh, Ishita will give your answer. Ishita ji, are you there? Ishita ji. Yes, yes, sir. I am finding Ishita ji. Are you there, Ishita ji? Can you please raise because your hand? Because the same problem actually first uh, first Ishita passed by Ishita. Here. Ishita is not there. Yes, sir. I think not there because I find her name by typing her name, but it is maybe she entered with different name. No, Ishita is not here. Okay. So, anyways, let me just yeah. Dipali, that. Dipali Tomar. Yes, yes, Dipali ji. Unmute yourself. Uh, hello, hello, sir. Yeah, Dipali, would you like to answer the question which has been asked by uh, Preeti, or uh, you would like to say something else? Sir, I just have a small query regarding the age because okay, sir, okay, I had okay, read okay, somewhere. Hold on, hold on. Let me just uh, resolve the the query of uh, 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 Miss Preeti. Tana. Preeti Tana. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Preeti ji, I think uh, uh, you have uh, while while uh, doing your uh, uh, variable view. You one have... sir, actually, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. One participant wants to give answer. Okay. Seema, okay. Fine. Seema, Seema Chaudhary ji. Yes, uh, Seema ji. Go ahead, Seema. <laughs> Great. Yes, Seema. Simaji, please unmute yourself. Yeah. Hello. Good evening, sir. Ah, good evening, Sima. Sir, many we were same problem. Many we faced ki thi. Usme, but aapse puchha tha, tab aapne bataya tha ki humne jo variable view tha, usme humne numeric kiya hua tha. Or usme hum theoretical me dal rahe the, isliye wo accept nahi kar raha. Agar aap usme bhi numeric view me dalogi, jo aapne usse code kiya hua hai, jaise ki for example, no ko one code kiya hua hai, agar hum haan par one dalenge, to wo tab accept karega. Absolutely. So, ऐसी क्वेरीज मेरे पास भी और भी आई थी पर इशिता ने क्या किया कि क्वेरी थी और उसके बाद में थोड़ी देर बाद में मेरे को इन्होंने बोला कि मैंने उनको बोला कि ये क्वेरी आप क्लास में पूछिए अभी आधे पौने घंटे पहले की बात है एंड व्हेन शी वाज शी वाज आस्किंग मी दिस देन आई टोल्ड दैट व्हाई डोंट यू आस्क इट इन द क्लास बिकॉज़ आई नो दैट सिमिलर क्वेरीज विल बी देयर फ्रॉम अदर्स एंड लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज माय 120 सेकंड वर्कशॉप व्हिच आई एम डिलीवरिंग सो दिस एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव दैट आफ्टर एंटरिंग दीस आर द क्वेरीज व्हिच Uh, which are being asked and what i do is i do it like this what i am doing now that one query asked by one participant will be resolved by other so very good simani you have uh, uh, answered and it thank you so much sir aapne help ki thank you actually us just time pe mujhe problem thi maine call karke pucha apne sath ke sath wo problem resolve ki thank you so much sir thank you acha uh, preeti have you got your answer or you want some more clarification uh, sima please be there Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. 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 वैल्यूज में जो नन लिखा हुआ है उसे हम नन ना रखें हाँ सीमा बोलो हाँ जी मैम आपने वैल्यूज में अगर नोमेरिक लिखा है वहां पर टाइप में अगर नोमेरिक लिखा है तो आपने वैल्यूज में उसकी वैल्यू उसका वैल्यू बताई होगी ना कि नो को हम वन मान रहे हैं यस को हम टू मान रहे हैं वो नहीं किया तो मैम आप इसे फिर न्यूमेरिक की जगह आप वो दूसरा कर सकते हो स्ट्रिंग कर सकते हो देन आप लिख पाओगे आई थिंक क्योंकि मैंने तो न्यूमेरिक में ही लिखा था बट क्योंकि अगर न्यूमेरिक नहीं होगा तो स्ट्रिंग होगा नहीं प्रीति वो सीमा वो फिर रॉन्ग हो जाएगा वो गलत हो जाएगा मैंने न्यूमेरिक ही किया था तो मुझे उससे पता है की नुमेरिक से ऐसे ही हुआ था वन टू में लिखा था देन मैंने कोडिंग में स्ट्रिंग तो सर ने कहा था कि केवल नेम में ही स्ट्रिंग्स होते हाँ, हैं हाँ, बाकी हाँ, न्यूमेरिक ही रखे जाते हैं हाँ, मैं बताता तो हूँ हमने जी तो एक्चुअली क्या है कि बिकॉज हाँ, आपने वैल्यू लेबल्स को डिफाइन नहीं किया दैट्स इट इज नॉट अलाउिंग यू टू गिव द वैल्यूज तो अगर आप वैल्यू लेबल्स की जगह अगर केवल जो सीमा कह रही है अगर आप न्यूमेरिक भी डालते हो तो भी वो डेट विल टेक द वैल्यू इफ यू विल फोर्ट न्यूमेरिक इन प्लेस ऑफ दट इज अमेरिक वन But even if you do not uh, place any values, it will take the values if you are putting it numeric. But at the same time, there will be one problem. The problem is that that these are the categorical variable uh, variables and have to be assigned some categorical values. And if you will put it, even if uh, uh, means if you will put it numeric and will try to feed, it will take the feed. But 
here you will you will you can even uh, type 1000 so it will take 1000 because you have told that it is numeric and no values are there because you have not created the value labels i hope priti you are able to understand that yes yes sir so when the categorical will variables are to be entered they have to be assigned the values as per uh, whatever i have told you uh, yesterday itself right so i hope okay. seema your concept is also now more clear yes sir but, yeah that why we have to put values if it is a categorical variable and we have to put values you have to have to put values numeric could they say that it, it will start accepting but it yes, will sir. be technically wrong okay sir so thank you seema that you have resolved the query and uh, preeti i hope you have understood it thank you so much sir thank you sir Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone? Okay. Yeah. Sonali ji. Sonali ji, please can you start your video? Sonali ji. Please unmute yourself, Sonali ji. Hi, Sonali. Sonali ji, can you please unmute yourself? Yeah. I yes, can. Yes. Yeah. Is this possible? Now I'm audible. Yeah. You are very much audible. Uh, yeah, uh, you are very my... much audible and very much visible also. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> you have asked uh, many times now. You should be visible so that Why we can create not? a con con connect those, with the others. Uh, those who are having confidence, they actually make themselves visible. Visibility is key, sir. Right, sir. Uh, correct. <laughs> right, sir. So my question is the sheet which you have shared yesterday that I have done it. Uh, you are aware of that. My question is in that the year. Uh, one column is year, right? And in that, uh, it is the foreign culture year mentioned. A uh, soft, junior, senior. This is this is a foreign culture. Absolutely. But if we talk about the Indian culture, then it will be like first year, second year, no problem. Uh, uh, and if it is a numerical one, like you thought, so one is equal to first year, two is equal to second year. Uh, and if it is many like two thousand nine to two thousand nineteen, it has it. If it is a very um, you know large data. And it is covering like lots of years in that. Then how we will do that? Then that is a range you have to prepare. Okay. That you can, that and even way. even even for the range also, you have to put it in certain category. Uh, so then also it will be ordinal only, or it will be nominal. No, in that case also it it will it will be nominal, not ordinal at all. There will be no order because a person who is in first year may be compared yeah. to second year. You can you can keep it ordinal. It's upon you. How you want to interpret it? If you want, so it to can be it both. Now uh, we can choose it. Like it can be ordinal or it can be nominal, right, sir? Totally upon you, because what is the purpose? What is your hypothesis? How you are? How you want to take that? It totally right. depends on that. Uh, right, sir. But but uh, in this, the foreign culture, we can easily uh, consider it into an ordinal one, which Definitely. will be easier for us. Yeah, is of it? course. Uh, because yes. uh, what what they think is that the those people who are in the higher classes, they may right. be having some higher knowledge or something higher. Right, sir. Like, so if you are comparing certain things which are related to uh, the first year and second year suppose for example i i just conducted one competition right, and in that competition i have actually given them uh, some uh, some some work to do so if okay. uh, i have to see whether the first year students do better than second year or i just want to know whether there is a significant difference between between the performance of first year students and second year students okay right. sir then i can even use uh, uh, or, or nominal or ordinal both, both. but if okay. i assume but i if i assume that first year will be having less knowledge than second year then i have right. to put it as a order then in order okay oh, okay so right right now sir i got it thank you so much sir Welcome. thank <laughs> you sir thank you sonali ji thank you ishita sir. madam is uh, now online ishita i was uh, ma'am uh, yeah. is ishita ma'am uh, she is uh, visible also Visible sir, but I, uh, which name sir? Ishita. Ishita Tiwari. E S H I T A. No. Oh, sir, I I always typed E I E S. <laughs> Just a minute, sir. Yeah, yes, Ishita ji, please unmute yourself. Sir, it means you watch a lot of movies. Sorry, <laughs> <Yes>, sir. <laughs> Ishita ji, please unmute yourself. I I, I do watch. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Ishita ji. It's so, not working. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah, yes. you are visible. Good evening, sir. You are visible. You are good audible. Evening. Very good, good evening. evening. And we were just discussing what you just uh, gave me that there is a problem, and then you resolved it. Excellent. <laughs> you are very enterprising also. And the thank same you, problem you, was you, asked sir. by Preeti, and mm -hmm. Simon was also having same problem. That's why I told you you ask it in the class so that others will also get benefit of it. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, but at that time you were not uh, neither visible nor uh, audible. 
so uh, actually uh, there was some uh, like uh, connection problem was there so okay. i was like trying to commit uh -huh. overcome that so uh, so seema resolved the problem and uh, preeti also understood it even seema was having one more more confusion which was also resolved Fine. so Fine. this is how we just uh, interact and uh, learn and this is how we shall we make it uh, we make this session also more interactive okay sir right. it's okay yeah so anyone any other problem yes sir yes sir yeah, mohammad khan ji yes mohammad khan ji please unmute sir uh, uh, can you explain the why we put uh, dirty uh, for the wet in some cases what we put uh, dirty in some cases right for the wet right like last name and first name is dirty that is oh. why do we okay okay the width was 30 in case of first name and last name sir it is not like it is not hard and fast you just count the maximum number of uh, alphabet which is there in the last name you can put that as a width so it is not hard and fast that you have to put 30 only or 15 only or whatever right so uh, it is actually done so that uh, all the names get ac um, uh, accommodated last name cannot be more than i don't think it is more than 10 alphabets or so so mine okay. is p a h w a pahava so it has five alphabets so somebody may be having from uh, maybe from south india or so may be having very very long name so their the last name may be very very long okay so, so is, for that purpose to no, accommodate that it, is, it has been so it's no like you can uh, there is no restriction right you can put any numbers here right? yeah no restriction at all we can put uh, the numbers whatever we want but at, at the same time if you will put less numbers it will cut off your name that what okay. was happening yesterday also people asked me that uh, sir uh, we have given only uh, five or six so my I, we are not able to visible the name because the, the 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 maximum width which you will be mentioning over here it the spaces will take the uh, entry accordingly okay sir and column also we need to have like eight uh, put you put eight and 10 yeah so column is actually column is actually the uh, you can say um, uh the size and the width is actually number of alphabets okay sir thank Column you all of you can even increase manually by just you know dragging it that you can increase manually also but width you have to put it do we need to define missing value here or we don't need sorry uh, missing value is all nan 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 so do we need to define it here or no need you you have to define it whether whether there are any missing values or not and accordingly the uh, the system will take it if you want to define missing values if uh, if the values are missing you can use some other mode also other mode means for example i have written uh, one for male and two for female and uh, uh, th there is one person who who has actually forgot to write the gender or who is like, actually is, a, is doesn't want to disclose the gender okay so he may put he may put nothing so those who have not put anything it will be uh, unjustified to give anything out of uh, uh, normally what we do is that we just mention our from from our own the gender of that person which will which will not be good so in that case in order to avoid the confusion you can put three as others so all the people those who are others will we will go in category of three and we will keep three as a missing value so we have to define we have to define it to the spaces that three is missing value and accordingly it has to be treated okay thank you sir yes ashima ji ashima bishnoi please unmute yourself ashima ji aapne likha hai you wrote in the chat box that you want to uh, clarify something yes ashima ji hello i think she is not audible sir can take some other other queries mm, yes yes sir. not audible hello yeah yes she yeah ashima a uh, circle uh लास्ट सेशन में आपने डाटा व्यू पे जब हम जेंडर में वन टू थ्री आ रहा था हम लोगों ने वैल्यू लेबल दिया था बट इन डाटा व्यू समाइम इट अकर्स लाइक मेल एंड फीमेल लेकिन मेरे डाटा व्यू में मैं उस, उसे ऐसे मेल एंड फीमेल की कैटेगराइजेशन में नहीं ला पा रही हूँ इशिता जी वुड यू लाइक टू रिजोल्व कैन यू रिपीट आशीमा सर जैसे कि हम अगर वेरिएबल व्यू में जेंडर के लिए वैल्यू लेबल डालते हैं वन फॉर फीमेल टू फॉर मेल तो हमारी डेटा व्यू में जेंडर के लिए वन टू थ्री न्यूमरिक वैल्यू आएगी बट 
आपने कल जब लास्ट सेशन में दिखाया था तो उस टाइम पे जेंडर में मेल भी आ रहा था फीमेल भी आ रहा था रेदर देन न्यूमरिक वैल्यू मुझे वो वाला व्यू नहीं दिख रहा है डाटा व्यू में रेशमा जस्ट आई विल लाइक टू कमेंट आप ना टैग uh, का एक ऑप्शन है ऊपर आइकन में वैल्यू लेबल्स करके तो यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दैट एड ऑन्स के नीचे है इट इज राइट ना एड ऑन्स के जस्ट नीचे है टैग टाइप का बना होगा ए का एरो बना होगा वन में यस हां उसको दबाइए यू गॉट इट Just press it. उसी को थोड़ा सा दबाना है थोड़ा सा नहीं पूरा yes, दबाना है। <laughs> Sorry, <sir. laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. Uh, you have got? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. It's okay. See, it's 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 a great thing that uh, queries which are asked by you and yourself, uh, and uh, it is being resolved by the participant. Participant, sir, uh, it's really so, great. Nothing better than this. <laughs> okay, sir. Can we take more questions or? Yeah, uh, we'll I don't. Start? Because we have to take. This is the base. <laughs> okay, this okay. This is sir. the base. Randhi Jadav, Randhi Jadav ji. Yes, Randhi ji. Please unmute yourself, Randhi ji. यस यस जी जी का जो जो शीट मैंने बनाया सर सर आपने होमवर्क दिया है हेलो सबसे पहले तो नमस्कार सर और गुड इवनिंग हाँ नमस्कार सर गुड इवनिंग सर सर मैंने जो शीट बनाया तो उसके ऊपर जो आइकन आ रहे हैं जी हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल सर हाँ प्लीज कंटिन्यू हेलो यस सर कंटिन्यू प्लीज ये मैंने ये स्पेसिस का जो शीट मैंने बनाया जो उसके ऊपर आइकन नहीं आ रहे थे और उस पर अंडू मतलब पीछे कैसे जाने का हेलो हाँ हाँ अंडू क्या मतलब समझा नहीं मैं यू वांट टू अगेन अंडू अंडू द थिंग्स हेलो है ना सर उसमें आइकन देर इज आइकन बाय विच यू कैन अंडू द थिंग्स But once you have typed it and you want to remove it, is it is it like that? You want to remove what you have typed, is it so? I think sir, mm -hmm. network issues there, sir. I think. No, he is audible. Okay, but actually, sir, he is <laughs> not speaking. Uh, Randeep okay. ji, you you call me after class. Yeah, I will solve your okay. query after class. I will solve your query after class. I will send the search number. No problem. Okay, uh, Anjali, Anjali Sharma ji. Yes, Anjali ji. Please unmute, Anjali ji. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, Doctor Anjali. Uh, very good afternoon, and uh, please show your video also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Switch on your uh, okay. video too. Am I visible, yes. sir? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Please. <laughs> So, uh, good afternoon, sir. Very good. Sir, I wanted to ask uh, something about measures. Okay. Like in this particular sheet, you have explained us uh, how we should take nominal, or ordinal, or scale things. But further going, when we uh, do more sheets, more data, when we try to do in this uh, SPSS, you ask how will we know that? Uh, you ask me. How can we know which is nominal, which is ordinal, like this? Part I could not understand. Yeah, ma'am. See, this is it is a very very simple, a thing which is a, not at all giving you information more than what category it is in. That is nominal, mm -hmm. right? For example, male and female, like religion of a person. Okay, but mm -hmm. when the category tells you that there is an order, for example, income level, income level. If you define, so it can, there, it can be lower income level. there can be upper lower middle class there will be higher middle class there will be upper class right those who are having and we have categorized these classes on the basis of income levels right income which has or household income now these this thing which can be categorized as first second third and fourth are called ordinal now here the example which i have given you the which the example which i have now given you this is continuous in nature 
Okay, so okay. this thing comes in ratio because I can say that X person income is half the other. What I am earning might be half of uh, what what is being earned by, uh, uh, for example, uh, 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 Ravi Modi ji. I am earning half of uh, him. Oh, oh, please, please. Uh, just example. Just example. Okay. So, so it is just like that. So if I am uh, if I am making any money, so this is in this case what what is happening? We are we can actually multiply, divide, add less, whatever we can do, we can do. So these things, these variables, which can on which all the mathematical operation multiply, divide, percentage, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, percentage can be done. They all are ratios, or they all can be categorized as a scale. Actually, SPSS takes ratios and intervals into one category that is scale, right? So there are in SPSS there are three categories: nominal, ordinal, and scale. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, one more query relating to this yeah. only. Uh -huh. So, like, uh, what sheet I have made and entered the data, I have put uh, two things: that mm. extra credit one and the review one as okay. nominal. Mm. But uh, the sheet which I have received uh, has uh, ordinal. So, madam, uh, just forget for that. I have intentionally made mistakes in it. Okay, so nominal will not be wrong, you, right? You have to apply your mind what it should be. Because I got it as nominal because it is giving very less information. Absolutely, it is nominal. It is nominal because it is only telling you in which category it belongs to. So don't get confused. Measures actually, I have made a mess in it. So because this is a very very important. I take entire one session in my uh, in my PhD coursework class for my students in my in Manipal University Jaipur on these uh, mm -hmm. scales and categories. Because here, if the funda is not clear now, you will not be able to do anything, any analysis for it. You will be confused always. So very good that you have asked. Any uh, others also, those who are who might be hesitating to ask this question have have, have uh, understood it now because of you, madam. Thank you, sir. So excellent, Dr. Anjali. Because when we ask, then we when we understand, then we know. If we will not ask, we will be blind for the for the whole life, rather. So, ma'am. I heads up to you and uh, your courage that you have asked this question and keep on asking. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you yeah. so much. Ravi, any other question? Query. Thank you, ma'am. Uh... Uh, hello, hello, sir. Yeah, Dipali. Uh, sir, I have the same question regarding the confusion I am having in measure of age. So somewhere okay. I have read that it is ordinal also. It is taken as ordinal. Of course, it but can then, be taken yeah. as ordinal. See, but there is sir, an order. We, Infants are okay. there. Primary school, primary, middle, secondary, graduate, postgraduate. Okay. We have this, no? Yes, sir. And so, so if we are defining that age, like uh, the women who are having in the age group from 18 to 46 or 46 to 22, then it will be nominal, I guess. Yeah, of course. Because, then because it's, purpose, it's, it totally depends on the purpose. So same with the income also. Like if you have Absolutely. just said that if mm. the income is divided is lower written income mm. class or middle income, then it will be ordinal. Or yeah. if we will be uh, explaining it in numbers like 5,000, below 5,000, 5 to 10,000, then it will be nominal. It will be scale then because you will be able to directly okay. relate because a per you can now you are able to see that uh, a person who is having an income 5,000 is uh, having an income uh, half of the other who is having 10,000. Now you can define it like okay, that. Okay. Now if you categorize yes, it, yes. you categorize it, I cannot say a person who is having, all the persons who are having lower income will be having income half of those who are having higher income. I cannot say that because I do not know the actual numbers. So if you are defining it in numbers, it will definitely be the scale or you can say it, will, it is a ratio actually. A scale is also divided into two parts I told you yesterday. It is interval and ratio. Ratio. So it will be It will be ratio then. So scale is there, scale is divided into two parts, interval and ratio. This will be ratio by because you can apply all the mathematical functions. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, sir. Uh, we can we can proceed, sir, now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, nucleus. Yeah, nucleus. Yes, a nucleus. Please unmute a nucleus. Hello. Good evening, sir. Sir, uh, I would like to get clarification on the concept of decimals. Uh, I couldn't follow the concept decimals. I am not audible. No, no, you are audible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what decimals you want? What clarification you want? Because, sir, when I when I went through the uh, assignment, I could understand the width, but when I try to uh, put the digits in the column of decimals, I was really confused, sir. See, uh, yeah. Anyone, anyone would like to solve the query regarding decimals? Yes, Ishita ji. <laughs> Ishita ji. Dipali Tomar ji. Yes, yes, Dipali ji. Dipali ji, answer. Yes, Dipali ji. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, you have told us that decimals. Uh, they uh, they don't have the meaning when we are doing the gender like we are coding one for male and two for male and yes. if we mention two decimal then it will be 1.00 it has no meaning hmm. decimals have only the meaning when we are defining like cgpa or marks of someone then the decimal points or foreign exchange currencies then the decimal has the value otherwise we have to put zero as decimal and in the quiz or the in the marks, then we have to put the decimal as two. So, Ishita, let me tell. Uh, sorry, um, uh, Anukletas, let me tell you one okay, one clear cut thumb rule for this. If you are dealing in any data which is a scaled data, whether okay. it is interval or it is ratio, decimal ha will be having its value. Okay. If you are dealing with ordinal or nominal, okay, no decimals. Okay. Okay. Thank you, right. sir. Okay. So this is the thumb rule you can see. Take it. Okay. Dipali, are you are you are you okay with that? What I have what I have told? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. Now we can start. Yeah. Any any anyone else? Anything else? No, I think uh, everybody asked. Fine. That's great. So. Let me share the presentation now. So we were here. Hope it is visible. Yes, sir. It's visible, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. So So you have uh, what we have done is that uh, we have uh, filled all 20 second, 22 students data in SPSS variable view. And it should be displaying like this with all of you in your uh, own SPSS sheet. And I hope you have uh, really enjoyed it. Enjoyed filling the data also manually and you have learned a lot of things mm -hmm. while filling the data that how to fill data and what is there in the variable and it has to be complemented with what you are filling in the data. So uh, let us uh, now proceed further. Uh, this is one important note. Uh, can anyone tell me that is this uh, data sufficient for the analysis? Anyone? Is this data sufficient for the analysis? Uh, no participants is uh, no. So why? Yes, the uh, Tripti Asava uh, wants to speak something, sir. Yeah. Yes, Tripti ji, unmute yourself. Ravi ji, some uh, disturbance is also coming. I don't know why. Maybe some uh, participant might be. Yeah, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Please see. Yeah. Yes, Hello. Yes. Good evening, sir. 
या गुड इवनिंग सर आपने जो क्वेश्चन पूछा है वो उसके लिए एनालिसिस की सॉरी सर एनालिसिस के लिए रिक्वायरमेंट है हाइपोथेसिस की उसके बेसिस पे जो भी अपने डाटा कलेक्ट किए है ना तो उसके अकॉर्डिंग अपन एनालिसिस कर सकते हैं सो हाइपोथेसिस की रिक्वायरमेंट है इसमें अच्छा अगर मैं हाइपोथेसिस भी देता हूँ इफ आई प्रोवाइड यू हाइपोथेसिस विल दिस ट्वेंटी टू डेटा विल बी सफिशियंट फॉर एनालिसिस so according to uh, according to uh, sorry according to the uh, formulation made as hypothesis we can analyze the data no, as per can. the requirement yeah anyone else uh, want to counter yes sonali ji yes sonali ji please unmute hello uh, according to me sir this data is sufficient or in If it is ten only with numbers of ten, if it is ten uh, students only, then also the data is sufficient to analyze. We can analyze it as yeah. per uh, like uh, we can analyze ki who is gaining how much marks and all. It depends uh, which analysis you are talking about. Okay. So is this a complete representative of the class? Complete representative <laughs> of the class. I hope yes. No. Anyone else? Thank you. Thank you, Sonali. Yes, yes. Ankita ji, please unmute. Yes, Ankita ji. Um. Uh, yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, according to me, this data is not sufficient for uh, doing uh, non-parametric okay. testing. Why? Because um, it requires uh, to follow your normal prob probability curve, and according to Uh, you know many of the researchers we have seen that minimum of 30 uh, participant data is required why 30 the npc i was so looking for this it's not been followed so we cannot apply i was looking for this 30 number you are correct <laughs> now you tell me why why 30 uh, sir uh, like uh, most of the mathematicians has done this research, uh, thing and they said like uh, you know to uh, uh, apply the parametric testing so we have or to apply the inferential stats we have to follow this number of 30 minimum what is this 30 uh, so the number of uh, candidates what uh, for which we are collecting so what we call number of candidates we call it as a sample yes sir the sample man uh, yes sir sample so sample has to be large if it is more than 30 yes okay sir. and large sample always gives good analysis and good interpretation yes sir and uh, let me tell you i have yesterday also i told you that there are how many how many people are there in this class how many people are there in this class sir so there are uh, 22 na no so just a minute how many people are there sir how many people are there sir 35 students na approximately 35 each class and how many total sir yes it is 105 because they were divided into three sections so this 22 will not be sufficient for yes. making the analysis of all right that's why i have sent all of you one file which was which you you all have received just half an hour before the class i intentionally did it otherwise you uh, those who were doing these things all all this work the practice session would have be at is okay file tumko mili jayega aage ka kaam hum kar hi lenge so kyun ye 22 bhi enter karne but those who have done it i extremely am thankful to all of you that you have done it because you have learned it and uh, your learning will give me a satisfaction that's why i have made it okay so what to do now now you, you have to just open the grades.sav file which we have provided and it has been told in the mail itself that you have to save it on the desktop and if you have saved it on the desktop just double click it it will directly open in spss as we used to open other files na? we open word file excel file just double click this file which is lying now on your uh, uh, this desktop you might have downloaded it and if you are using two systems then you have to download it from your uh, system in which mail and uh, this is connected you have to copy it in your pen drive and you have to paste it on your uh, desktop and it will take i think uh, not more than 3 to 4 minutes so we will allow you that 3 to 4 minutes so that you can have all of you can have 
this uh, grades o dot sav file on the system where you are using where the spss is installed is it is that okay sir see the chat box if some comments yes, are sir. there yes sir are they doing it or you or should or do you want yes, me sir. to proceed further yes sir they are doing we have done it yes okay all are okay i think all are okay then should we proceed yeah. further yeah yes sir. yes yes sir done it done it done it every everybody has done it sir everyone has opened it yeah yeah or still doing please mention over here so that i will move on i give you 15 seconds more to mention whether you want me to move on or you want me to wait yes ifat ifat shenas yes i can see your raise hand please yeah, mute you. yourself thank you so much thank you thank you one uh, query uh, regarding this um, uh, data um, this um, filling in the data yeah 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 please 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 uh, if it uh, we usually have uh, replications so in this we, we do, i don't know about the educational sciences but in our agricultural sciences we usually have data and it's always in replications when you ask the question is the data sufficient i thought that i i'll say that um, according to our uh, sciences uh, the replications are missing so whenever Very we good. have to uh, give our data we give it in replications only you are very correct we, i didn't find any uh, column where we have to give the applications ma'am actually what the thing is this data is first of all not at all from the agriculture science and it is not yeah, a scientific exactly. data huh, yeah. yeah you are very correct that in that case you have the replications and you have to give that data in the replication only you are very correct but mm -hmm. at the same time this is a social science data number one secondly this data is related to the class this is not mm -hmm. a sample data at all this is a census data you have captured each and every student of the class Yes. 35 into 3 105 data is there and that data yes. sheet is all all with you now okay i hope you all have opened just go through that data sheet scroll that up and down you see how how much yeah, data you yeah. have right? yeah so, so yeah so when i have to analyze my data can i uh, analyze it with three applications or do i have to use some other software yeah can be done can be done but actually uh, that replication exactly because uh, i mostly deal in social sciences so okay. uh, we can talk offline about it that what actually you mean big because the meaning of replications are two or three yeah i mean but i am understanding three. you may not be saying the same so let's have a talk and we will decide that what is uh, your replication is it matching to my replication then you can do the do the things in this uh, spss itself in uh, uh, further but if okay. it is missing then there is one software which is called minitab yeah uh, yeah that i have Yeah. Minute tab actually captures the replications, and you can use it with that too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. You're most welcome, ma'am. Yeah. So uh, I hope you, by the time you all have downloaded the file, and now it is op opened in your SPSS, or you are still doing it. Ravi some ji. of them so actually so some of them are not getting downloaded okay My file is not getting downloaded so let us give them 2 3 more minutes yes yes yeah please continue so actually, if you sir, have most of the file. participant uh, most of the participants done it sir there is no problem we can okay so uh, should we proceed or uh, yes yes okay. we can proceed sir uh, there is some more queries coming up over here Done, done, done. No, 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 no pains. Okay, okay, fine. Yes, fine. So I am proceeding further with it. Yeah, now. yes, sir. So now we have to open the grades or dot sav file in SPSS. And you can even open it in this way that you go in file, you just open and data. Okay. After clicking data, you can select the file in which uh, uh, which you want to open, and the open file will look like this. which i have which is on your uh, uh, screen now which you can see now actually i took the first screenshot of this only because 22 entries are more than sufficient for you to learn that how the entries are made in spss that's why i gave you only this particular sheet in order to make the entries right so if you scroll it right there will be some more entries which, which could be entered in spss as, as such now now you go on the variable view of it 
variable view will you will you will be able to see all the variables are being uh, uh, assigned over here as such and all the variables tells you the different story the variables even there also you will find some measures are not set properly forget about it don't worry okay so this is the data file on which in the next 3 4 days we will be doing all our analysis okay so uh, let us proceed further so now you toggle between the value labels so in order to toggle between the value labels what was the query which was asked first this is the button which is called a value label button if you press this button you keep on pressing this button and make your data data view open in while opening your data view just press this button and you can toggle between the the value labels that is the numbers and the value labels the numerical values will be converted okay so this is uh, how it is done so if you press this it will appear like this hope it is coming on uh, uh, with with all of you now if you see section is not changing because section if you have put section one section is equal to secti one section one secti one section two then it will change otherwise i have put one is equal to one two is equal to two three is equal to three because it itself means that section is uh, a section was one section one section two in section three only nothing more than that so i have taken it uh, in this way itself right so the first most step now the of the analysis is managing and manipulating data using spss so first of all let us understand what is managing data so after collection of the data and feeding the same in the spss it is sometimes felt that some more data can be created using the data which has been collected and that will be effective for the better analysis so for this reason spss provides the option for data in the menu command itself so when this uh, option is there in the menu command you can just do so this is one option in the menu command see the menu command and if you you you, you can see this data press this data you will find a, a, a large menu coming down okay so click on data while you will be click, clicking on data this huge menu is coming up which comprises of defining the variable properties defining uh, uh, you can say set the measurement level okay so these all are the things which helps in managing and manipulation of the data as such so this menu various options are there which actually and not only this we will be having some uh, some options in transform and some options in analyze also so we will be going with those options afterwards so in in transform also you will find some something which is related to uh, this manipulation of data we will start from that only we will start from transform only so topics which are which can be covered in in this though i will not be covering all the topics because it otherwise it will be very very late for us or it will it will be if we will not be able to finish the main agenda of this so what we will be doing is we will be using the case summaries we will be using we will be replacing the missing values there is a transform function we will be doing some computation of the new variable by this and recoding and decoding we will we will be doing so select cases sort cases and merge files we will not be doing this okay so up to record we will be doing in this particular session okay so let us first uh, go with the case summary procedures so case summary command allows you to list the entire data file or subset of the file either grouped or in order of original data so you have to first of all if if there is the need of grouping the data because here males and females both are mixed so if you want to uh, group the data according to gender you can do that using spss so let us uh, perform the functions on the opened file you all have the opened file now so just go on analyze analyze go on reports and go on case summaries do it <laughs> right done in your chat box as you do it analyze reports and case summaries ravi ji just monitor i think people have are yes, responding yes sir done done sir done sir done sir great great everybody done so yes. analyze reports and case summaries now you will be having this type of window open in your on the on your uh, uh, uh computer okay so hope all of you have done this also 
Yes, sir, they have done. Fine. So now this window is there. Let us just see what uh, this window says and what 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 are the technicalities of this windows. What are the options available? So now the variables over here. This the list of the variables selected for listing all or the subset of the values is this. Now this is the grouping variable. Okay. So this will create an order for the listing of the variables. If there are no grouping variables, cases will be listed in the order of the data file itself. Okay. So to group the variables, the user must first have one or more variables in the variable box. Otherwise, what will you group? Okay. So you have to put some variable in the variable box and you have to put that uh, in what category you want to actually uh, group the variables. So let us do one exercise. Now include the GPA in, in the variable box. Okay. So GPA in the variable box and gender in the grouping variable. So what here it, 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 it is very, very clear that I want to group GPA in gender. I want the GPA to be in gender. Okay. So I am grouping it, it the GPA gender wise. Okay. So this I am doing. So uh, GPA in the variable and gender in the grouping. I hope all have done it. For this, what you have to do, you have to just double click GPA. It will enter in variable and then you double click gender. It will enter in grouping. Yes, uh, sorry, uh, Ujjwal said have some problem. Yes, yeah. Ujjwal said. Otherwise, asked. let me finish. Or otherwise, okay. you can use this button. This button, can you see? Raviji, can you see my cursor? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Easily. Yeah. So yeah. this button, by this button, you can put the variables in the in the in the uh, uh, this uh, variable uh, window and with this button you can put it in the grouping or otherwise you double click it you it will it will go over there if you double click it it will, it will go again and if you again double click it it will go again back okay yeah ujwal said ji what yes, is ujwal ji batayi. yes sir hello. hello hello sir ujwal sir very good evening sir good evening sir yeah. sir the uh, problem in the mic is that uh, in the SPSS, uh, the analysis function, analyze option only shows the for forecasting. I, I get all the forecasting option from analyze window. I am uh, oh. sharing the skin, skin sort. Sir, sir, sir. Then your your SPSS is not properly installed. Oh, hundred and one percent. So you just uh, view this. Uh, uh, Raviji, please share this video also. Today's sure, video. Sir, sure, sure, sure. We are and, uh, sharing, sir, every video. No yeah, problem. so every video you can share, no problem. Yes, yes sir. Uh, yeah. So Ujwal, sir, you just please see today. And after uh, after this class, I will install the new SPSS in your uh, system. You just download Team Viewer. Download Team Viewer and I will uh, just give me the access of your system. I will install the uh, SPSS and then afterwards seeing to this video, you can do the exercise and you can come to the point where we will be from where we'll be starting tomorrow and onwards. Thank you. Okay, sir. Yes, Ujwal, sir. That, would that be okay, no, sir? sir? Are you happy? That's the greatness of power, sir. To everybody. <laughs> There's nothing to be great. <laughs> yes, sir. Team Viewer, sir. <laughs> Fine. Okay. So uh, uh, let me tell you, Ravi sir, uh, about 35 softwares I have installed. And sir, I, I, know that, mostly, sir, I know that, and you are so busy, and, sir. Even <laughs> then, you are not time to sir, sir, participants. Sir. Heads of you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Chali. So uh, I hope up to here you have done. Now, nothing more is uh, uh, remaining. Just you have to press OK. That's it. So uh, what is the view you are getting? See, you have already got one. Uh, there is one more uh, file which is running in parallel to your SPSS file. So here is a point where I should tell you one more thing that SPSS actually runs in the two way system means it will be having one uh, SAV file. SAV file is the actual data file, whereas SPO file is the output file. So when you might be getting one more window automatically opened as soon as you have pressed OK. So in that window, you, you can see all the GPA is or, uh, organized in in a manner of uh, uh, order of uh, um, uh, this uh, gender. If you have put one as a female and two as a male, the female would have got all the females are now arranged first according to their GPA and 
all the gpa or all the and and after the uh, females males have got it got themselves listed so these are this is called a case summary why i have taken this uh, initially is that this is the simplest function in spss which gives you instant results that's why i have taken okay so output uh, you can uh, see that output is uh, there so now can you do one uh, one one more exercise for me uh, if section is selected the output uh, list would be uh, would, would list gpa for all the students in section 1 then for in section 2 and then for in section c so now in place of uh, just the this uh, gender put section remove gender and put section and tell me your results if you want to share even you can have more than one grouping variable also for example along with section and uh, you can put gender in that case what out, what output will you get the output would first list the gp of women in section 1 gp of men in section 1 then gp of women in section 2 and then gp of men in section 2 gp of women in section 3 and gp of men in section 3 okay because you are having now two grouping variables for every section you want it in a section wise form so it has it will make your job very easier even if not for the statistical analysis but for the analysis analysis of your class if you want to take it this software will help you out in doing that also because such type of uh, data is sometimes asked by our administrators so this is one thing which which can be done over here okay i hope everyone has done these exercises also done any query done. you have written done fine done 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 yes sir everybody done excellent so there are uh, some other options also in which uh, uh, for this summer case summarized window if you open this case summarized window it comprise of some other options also okay just see for the other option it it uh, it is uh, display cases also is there limit case to first 100 acha one more thing tell me one thing what what is the total number of entries you do you have just just put it in in the chat box everyone while you have do, done this how many entries do you have in the output yeah ravi ji any answer yes sir uh, 100 500 100 500 both i mean some <laughs> some wrote 100 and some wrote 105 so those who have written 100 actually and those who have actually uh, up till here because i have not told you to change the Uh, uh the the settings that's why whatever i am telling you are doing that that's why the number has coming to 100 and those who have got 500 they might have understood what 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 should be there see how many students are there in the class total all the sections all together are having how many students 105 now see here while you were doing this selection see here it is written here that limit the case to first 100 so those who have got 100 make this 105 you will get 105 all the entries in in the class itself okay so this display cases limit limit wise so, so first 100 you will be getting now show only valid cases show only case numbers so there are other options also which which uh, which, uh, which, uh, which are over here The limit case to hundred will limit case only to show only valid cases is option selected. It, this is actually by selected by default. It it ensures that when the variables are listed, if there are three subjects who did not include, okay, for instance, their age or uh, uh, of those three subjects would not be listed in the output. This option will be deselected if the user is interested where the missing values are also occurring. So actually here there is no miss missing values, but you want only. valid cases to come over here then you select this valid cases means in which there are no missing values if you want to include those cases and missing values are also there then you can deselect this okay so the case numbers also if you want to uh, get the case numbers here the case numbers can also case numbers means the roll numbers means the the numbers on 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 which they have they are selected 
means the numbers on uh, the numbers which are which are in the row list according to uh, the, you have typed it it is like that the statistics a wide range of descriptive statistics can be there so we will be we will we will deal with the descriptive statistics when we will be doing it and options also allows to exclude any subjects which have missing values so that option and that you can do in options also that you can do in uh, select uh, uh, this uh, show valid cases only so that can be done so this is the uh, one of the most awaiting thing which everyone is looking forward for the next process in uh, manipulation and this of data is replacing the missing value procedure so how will you replace the missing values and uh, and how will you just uh, you know put the uh, you can say or, or how how will you make the spss calculate the missing values for you so this is one of the procedure which will we will now be uh, uh, going with so during data entry in some it is sometimes discovered that the several subjects and respondents they refuse to answer their ethnicity question or uh, three subjects did not take the first quiz and if there are other gap in the file data they will all be coming these all are called missing values so now there are two types of missing values over here which can be seen one is a categorical missing value other is a continuous missing value so here itself if you see we have the if somebody has refused to answer the ethnicity question it is a categorical missing value and if someone has not actually appeared in any of the quiz this is a nature of continuous missing values so missing values are not only irritant but it can influence the analysis in a number of uh, ways missing values often make data file more difficult to work with because sometimes when the missing values are there you will struck again and again spss will stop you to, uh, to do the things so it is it is never desired to have the uh, values missing but we cannot actually stop it why because values will be missing you do not have a control over the other you cannot control someone that uh, and you cannot tell them that okay you must have to appear in the exam the person will say my brother's marriage is there or my own marriage is there how come i can miss that right so you cannot say okay you bring your wife along with in to appear in your exam or would be wife whatever so there are certain things in which the values will be missing there will be certain things even if as a teacher we do not want that somebody should get absent why because it is us who has to prepare the paper again and again till the student gets gets uh, gets through because our policy is like that we have to give graduation degree to everyone okay uh, whether uh, uh, earlier or whether later so if we give it later every time the faculty who is uh, preparing the paper will be uh, will be fined why because we have to prepare the paper again and again so we do not want this to happen but nothing is in our hand so it has it will happen as such so there are numbers of uh, spss procedure that remove any case or subject with the missing values or analyze that follows for example while commu uh, computing correlation now what is the problem which happens so if you are computing correlation and 13 students out of 35 have one or more missing value in the data well the data file then the spss will compute the correlation depending on your settings only for 22 so 35 minus 13 is equal to 22 so on 22 if i calculate the correlation do you think the correlation results will be good it will not be okay so the results is will be distressing it will be it, it, and the results in distressing loss of legitimate information that would be available means it will it will not give you good results or if you are calculating it you have to write that i have calculated it using less number of uh, items which are available so that i have to write but is is that a, is, is that a good calculation it is not a good calculation so i have to actually uh, manage it some way okay so that is the thing so further so spss allows the user to delete the subject list wise and pair wise so there are options which are called list wise and pair wise so here there is a option whether you want that subject to be included or excluded out of the calculation so if you will select list wise 
it is run list wise if one or more missing values exist for subjects all data of that subject are removed before the analysis means if it is selected list wise then the entire data which is related to that particular respondent who has missed at uh, one value the all data will be excluded it will not be removed it will not be deleted from spss but it will it will not consider that data for the purpose of the analysis at the same time if it is pair wise it is done if it if it if it is done pair wise then only the necessary data point is missing for a subject the calculation will be conducted without influencing that subject so for example somebody has missed uh, uh, for example somebody has missed uh, quiz 1 so the calculation of uh, uh, correlation or calculation of mean will be done excluding that particular data only from quiz 1 so quiz 2 and quiz 3 will be calculated he will be included in the calculation of quiz 2 and quiz 3 so this is the difference between list wise and pair wise list will delete all the data pair wise will delete or all will or will not consider the data in which that particular missing value is present rest of the data will be considered in other words pair wise deletion uh, in for a pair wise deletion a subject with a missing values will be involved in all the analysis except for those in which critical values are needed and are missing so this is what the spss deals with. normally what we do is when the data is missing we exclude that and take the average of remaining and we just find out a representing figure okay so it is suggested to deal with the missing values using the data coding and data entry phase phase itself so while you are entering the data it is suggested that you enter the data and avoid the values which are missing during the uh, uh, while you are entering the data or you are manual manually entering the data or even if you are auto automatically entering the data just see that missing values are not there right so here i have already told you that this particular statement this particular statement here uh, comprise of this particular statement comprise of two things one is your ethnicity question another is your quiz so one is a categorical variable and another is a continuous variable so i have been telling you since two days what is categorical and what is continuous so i just need only one answer ravi ji whosoever answers first whosoever will be raising their hand first will give the answer what is the difference between categorical and continuous variable only one thing we will take whether it is wrong or right but whosoever will raise the hand first will get it okay sir if if ta yes if ta please yes if ta ji please answer category uh, wise i think is uh, like uh, in the age uh, in the sorry in the gender it can only be male or female whereas in the uh, for example in the marks uh, or in the quiz uh, type it can be variable it can be a series of answers so in categorization we ca have definite values whereas in um, uh, that uh, continuous we have a series of values so uh, ishita ji uh, well said ifta ifta Okay. Ifat, it's Ifat. Ifat, 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 Uh, if we if we just define it in this way, that if at uh, I mean if at has uh, told us that when the things are in categories, just for example, a uh, male and female, and if the things are uh, if the things are continuous, then it will be having some definite number. Actually, what the thing is, if you will see it from this point of view, again I will uh, give you one uh, thumb rule for this. Those things which are in scale are continuous in nature. 
the things which are related to nominal and ordinal these things are category you can actually have a categories in that okay now one thing is there you can make the continuous data categorical but once made categorical you cannot convert it into continuous then this i this also i told you yesterday too so let us just uh, discuss it in detail categorical data if there are missing values in categorical data for example ethnicity question or you can say a gender question something like that so it will it cannot be actually you uh, you cannot tell spss to generate some value for you it will not be able to do that okay but if the data is continuous for example uh, you can say the price of the stocks in the market the stock price in the market actually goes gradually so there will be a relationship between suppose one day is a, we do not have uh, the price on that day or uh, because of any reason we are not at all able to get the price of uh, the stock on for that particular day so what we will do we will do the, we will take the average of the two points and we will calculate it so continuous data can be calculated but not the categorical so if there are missing values in categorical data such as ethnicity or the level of income an additional level for that variable can be created to replace the missing values with a with a different number this already i have discussed when we were uh, uh, doing the uh, uh, variable view sheet there also missing values was there so for instance if the five levels of ethnicity are coded you have actually coded the five levels of ethnicity right and the sixth level code for example six is unknown can be created in order to put all those who have not actually filled for ethnicity though in our data all the values there is no missing value in our data okay because we this is a data of a class and every value has has been taken it taken in in this data for the for the purpose of the analysis now it would not uh, it would not interfere with any of the analysis conducted with the ethnicity variable and there would be no longer be missing values to contented with okay so now what will happen all those things which are categorized as unknown though they are missing but spss will not consider it as such and even for making graphs also it will become it will come like that that these values are missing okay now in case of continuous data to replace the missing values in continuous data it can be done with the mean score of other subjects for, uh, for of that variable with uh, within this context spss also has several other options like like replace with median replace the mean of the surrounding points but such inclusion uh, inclusions bias the results actually there is a biasness another sophisticated way of uh, replacing a missing value in the continuous data to create a regression equation with the variable of interest as a dependent or criterion variable and then replace the missing values with the predicted value this can be one of the option which can be used and spss provides for it in that case the new value have to be computed separately and to be inserted to the original file to enable the calculation now we want to calculate it also and we want to uh, insert this calculation in the original file also okay so let us do one exercise to just have uh, the calculation of this um, uh, missing missing values okay for replacing the missing values what we will do just to go on in transform and go in replace missing values transform and re uh, replace missing values right uh, please type done done sir done everybody done fine so you will be finding finding this type of uh, uh, thing coming up now just see the methods just click the series mean just click the series this uh, this the, this method over here methods are given right so these are the methods to replace the missing values in and but it will it has to be in continuous only mind it you cannot replace the categorical missing values okay so so there are various methods so what each method does it is written over here so missing value if in the series mean what will happen missing values are replaced by the mean or the average value of all the other values of the variable 
this is a default procedure by default this is done okay second is mean of the nearby points missing values are replaced by mean of the surrounding values that is the value whose spaces case number are close to the case with the missing values how many values how many values to use under the span of the nearby points may be designated you can designate that how many values you want mean suppose for example uh, first one value first second first value is given second value is given third value is given and fourth is missing and then again fifth is given sixth is uh, uh, given fifth, uh, and seventh is missing now you want to take the mean of how many nearby points that you can designate and define okay now each and every method is having its own significance and it cannot be interchangeably used okay so while using while assigning the method for missing values to the spss you have you must be having a, a, at least a knowledge of that what you what 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 is the series all about and what type of method you are using in order to replace the missing values next is median of nearby points if you want to go for median c it was a mean of nearby points this is a median of nearby points so there is a difference between these two so when these are to be used for this you must be having clear knowledge of use of central tendencies which is though is very basic but most of the researchers even those who are doctors they they are even do they do even do not know how to use uh, the, make the use of the central tendencies even i will tell you one thing now next is linear interpolation you can interpolate the things this is also one of the very good thing and fifth is linear trend at a point now when it is used if the values are of the variable uh, values values of the variable tend to increase or decrease trend can be used only if you have some fashion or you have some trend if there is increasing or decreasing then only it can be used otherwise if you will use a trend if the if 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 it is not to be used then it will it will give you a misleading result okay so that is the thing so linear interpolation you can interpolate the value in the midway in between the surrounding of the two values that is called interpolation in order to actually interpolation is used for smoothing purpose also in the time series of so that is uh, that is how it is. so these are the ways to uh, uh, do the things okay so let us now take quiz 1 variable now quiz 1 is a what type of variable is quiz 1 type in the chat box hurry up what type of variable is quiz 1 ravi sir kya answer aaya yes, categorical sir. or continuous uh scale continuous scale very scale good, very good very good very good very good so this is what is uh, what is uh, required so this is so what you have to do is you have to put over here quiz 1 that's it i have you now put here only quiz 1 don't you don't see what i have put okay in this box in the new variable you just put quiz 1 and now select the series mean and then press okay put quiz 1 okay uh, one more thing one more thing because we are finding missing values okay now what you can do is mm, uh in quiz 1 you just paste some values delete some values in your data sheet first go in your just uh, remove this go in your data sheet miss 3 4 don't miss more values miss 3 or 4 values in the data sheet miss 3 or just delete 3 or 4 values and and keep distance just miss 2 3 values in your data sheet because your data sheet is full okay done and now put this quiz 1 over here for the analysis purpose doing ravi ji response aa raha hai yes sir yes sir done antohi sima done fine now put this over here as an as yes, as, as a variable yeah which is done so first you have done it yeah yes sir everybody uh, fine now done. now what is to be done is that you have to put this as a, a, a variable means you have to create a new variable for it quiz when you are taking and you have to create a new variable because otherwise what will happen 
it will replace all the values of your main variable now what it will do it will create another variable for you okay so you have to name the variable over here you have to name the variable over here quiz1 underscore 1 quiz1 underscore 1 just name the variable over here okay press okay what you are getting aaj kya response aaya sir uh, abhi tak to sir done likh raha hai to kuch nahi aaya इनको पता ही नहीं चल रहा हो क्या रहा है एक्चुअली चेंज एग्जिस्टिंग वेरिएबल रिजल्ट वेरिएबल्स आउट वी गॉट यू आर गेटिंग यू आर यू आर गेटिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस एज अ आउटपुट don't go on uh, the exact figures uh, which is written over here yes sir yes yes sir pay yes aa raha hai sir fine now what the thing is just go on your data sheet data view mein jaiye aap apne dekhiye last mein ek variable form ho gaya ki nahi ho gaya final ke baad mein one more variable has been formed go and see go on go to your data data view yes 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 done now this particular thing is has actually formed with replaced values now this variable has been formed with the replaced value of quiz1 now compare quiz1 and quiz1 underscore 1 compare quiz1 and quiz1 underscore 1 you are missing your the you will find most of the values are same but the values which which were missing now has been calculated by spss and has been replaced over here is it okay or not okay everyone yes sir they yes sir got it got it yes okay so you have learned now two process one is case summaries and second is how to replace missing values any queries ishita yes yes ishita ji please ask sir hello yeah, good evening yeah. sir yeah, sir evening. mine it is not coming it is telling like uh, no it is not coming existing values which has a khadke aa raha so you i'm uh, trying to do it again yeah, and okay, again okay, no, no, but wait, it wait, is wait, not wait, change wait. existing variables it yes, is change like existing that. variables that for the thing is your values have been replaced in your existing variable itself you see the values which you have uh, uh, replaced you see quiz 1 only actually you have you might not have created quiz 1 underscore 1 okay sir yeah you have not actually created the last variable but mm -hmm. in quiz 1 itself those values which you have deleted have now again yes. appeared okay sir it will be different from the previous values now it has taken the series mean because the method which we have taken was the series mean method mm hmm hmm okay so it has taken the series mean now here also let me tell you it is also not good now what is that what is the thing over here has happened is that in the quiz one itself it has taken the average of all the class a person who is a duffer who has got very less marks so he will also be given a marks equivalent to the class which is not good over here okay. i have actually told you the method to replace the missing values okay okay so okay. here we have to learn only how we have to replace the missing values because this will be done in the other other uh, you can use it somewhere else in order where you actually need to take it take the uh, continuous type of thing which is actually uh, related to you for example i have given you the uh, stock prices of uh, certain dates so you have to write all the dates in uh, in 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 the column as mm -hmm. you have to and then all the stock prices here we can use the
methods of the series also and we can also use uh, this method which will be the most appropriate in in this case will be uh, the mean of the nearby points mean of mean yes, of the sir. nearby points because it will be the because it is something a gap is there in between right mm -hmm. and that is to be filled by the previous and the further dates or you can even use interpolation in that case so just Thanks. my purpose to tell you this was just that how this particular process is used in spss okay, okay sir. yes sir yeah any query anyone else kamal khan ji yes kamal khan ji yes sir yes sir uh, sir uh, 55 number jo entry hai yahan par uh, uske andar sir mera quiz 1 mein 0.00 mark tha to so hmm. same hi abhi quiz 1 underscore 1 mein 0.00 dikha raha hai to so replace nahi hua wo isliye nahi hua kya kyunki 00 mark tha wahan par sir baki ke sare bhi aapke same marks hi aa rahe honge same hi aa rahe hain sir bilkul same aa rahe hain as it is uska reason hai sir uska reason hai na aapne wo replace nahi actually aapne wo delete nahi kiya sir wo jo jiske zero tha wo zero hi reh gaya aapko usko zero nahi likhna hai sir aapko usko delete karna tha अच्छा डिलीट करना अगर आप डिलीट करोगे ना तब आपकी सीरीज मीन के हिसाब से मीन निकाल के वहां पे डाल देगा मीन्स मैं उसको दोबारा कर लू हो जाएगा सही ना ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू विल डिलीट यू जस्ट डिलीट इट सर यू जस्ट डिलीट इट एंड अप्लाई द प्रोसेस वंस अगेन यू विल गेट द रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ द एंड मीन्स एंड इवन वन मोर थिंग सर यस सर वन मोर थिंग इज ऑब्जर्वे ऑब्जर्वेबल ओवर हेयर फॉर फॉर एवरी वन ऑल द थिंग्स विच यू हैव डिलीटेड आर गेटिंग सेम नंबर एज अ रिप्लेस्ड वन Yeah, got it, sir. Now it it is replaced by some seven point five four. No, no, even even uh, even other other the things which you have deleted, all yes, those sir. deleted things are getting same, same results. Yeah, sir. May it be ten? You might have deleted ten. You might have deleted zero, but it will give you yes, the sir. average of all the class. Why? Yes, sir. Because we have used the method series mean. So all the values which are missing will be replaced by the series mean itself. Okay. Yes, sir. Done, Ishita, sir. I hope sir. you have also understood it. Thank you, sir. So it it totally depends on what type of method do you use, and what is the purpose of uh, using that method. Then we will be getting we will get the answers as per our desire. Yes, sir. Give um, Renal Damri. Yes, yes, Renal. Please unmute, Renal. Please unmute yourself, Mrinal. Okay, Mahendra Pariyar ji. Yes, Mahendra ji. Yes, Hello, Mahendra ji. Sir, yes. Namaskar. Namaskar, Guru ji. Namaskar, Namaskar. आप कहे आप ही कर रहे हैं मैंने कहा यार कहाँ गायब हो गया भाई साहब? अरे मैं यही हूँ सुन रहा हूँ बस बताइए थोड़ा सुन के ज्ञान अर्जित कर लो और कुछ नहीं. <laughs> ये आपने बोला कि जो मिसिंग वैल्यू है वो सेम आनी चाहिए सेम तो नहीं आ रही है हमारे हमने तो तीन मिसिंग तीन वैल्यू डिलीट किया था टेन टेन तीनों जान बुझ के अच्छा और उसका रिप्लेसमेंट एक जगह पे सेवन पॉइंट जीरो आ रहा है दो जगह पे सेवन पॉइंट फोर आ रहा है आपने मेथड कौन सा यूज किया सर सीरीज में जो आपने पहला बनाया बताया सबसे पहला सीरीज मीन वाला ओके अच्छा एक काम और क्या वही करेंगे ना दूसरा कुछ करें क्या करेंगे आता जाता कुछ है नहीं हमको जो बताया था वही किया अच्छा आप एक एक काम कीजिए सर जिसका आप जहाँ पे आपने टेन वाला जो आ, मिस किया था ना उन उन स्टूडेंट्स का एवरेज निकालिए क्या आ रहा है उसके अलावा मेरे हिसाब से उसने उन स्टूडेंट्स का एवरेज के हिसाब से लिया है ठीक है कोई बात नहीं वो खाली मैंने आपको बताया आपने बोला इसलिए बाकी कुछ नहीं ठीक है मोस्टली वो ऑलमोस्ट बाकी तो जहाँ राणा जी गए वहां उदयपुर नहीं नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं चलिए अच्छा थैंक यू Any okay, any okay. anyone else anything else? Yeah yes sir yes sir uh, Poonam Pandey ji. Ha. Yes Poonam Pandey ji. Unmute yourself. Yes Poonam ji. You want to ask something? You have raised hand. Unmute yourself. Ha sir. Good yes, evening sir. Good evening Poonam. I am a. Yes sir. सर आपने कहा थ्री वैल्यूज मिसिंग करने के लिए मैंने थ्री वैल्यूज मिस किया सेवन थ्री एंड एट बट तीनों जगह जो वैल्यूज आई है वो सेवन पॉइंट फाइव आई है और मैंने मीन ही लिया था मैंने आपको ये तो कह रहा हूँ कि तीनों जगह वैल्यूज वही आएंगी जो सीरीज का मीन होगा ये इसकी डीमेरिट है इस मेथड की 
हाँ तो सर अप्रोप्रिएट मेथड हम क्या यूज करें जो कि हम यूर वेरी करेक्ट एक्चुअली वॉट द थिंग इज टोटली टोटली डिपेंड्स इट टोटली डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर अभी मैंने एक एग्जाम्पल दिया था जब इशिता जी ने क्वेश्चन पूछा था कि सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर यूजिंग टाइम सीरीज डेटा राइट एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द टाइम सीरीज डेटा देर आर द डेटा इज कैटेगराइज डेटा इज इज गिवन सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर अ स्टॉक मार्केट देर इज द प्राइस ऑफ रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज लिमिटेड शेयर इज देयर ओके सो द प्राइसेज ऑफ सपोज वन डेटा इज मिसिंग इन बिटवीन right mm-hmm. what will be that missing data missing data cannot be more than the previous and the end price so yes, here yes. what what method should you use you must you cannot use the series bin in that case otherwise what will happen the entire years data ka average wo wahan dal dega which is mm-hmm. misleading so at that time what you can use you can use interpolation either interpolation, interpolation. or you can use mean of nearby points that what was the data what was the price yesterday what was the price tomorrow means in between yes, tomorrow's yes. price you cannot know but uh, uh, one, one doubt is more sir regarding this ki sir jaise ki humne interpolation hum maan lijiye use kar rahe hain maan lijiye mera time series ka main interpretation kar rahi hu to agar sir main interpolation kar interpretation kar rahi hu to sir mujhe ye bataiye ki us samay pe kya hum particular koi bowles ka ya किसी का लैंग्वेज मेथड यूज करेंगे कि कोई भी मेथड सर यू इंटरपोलेशन में यूज करके हम मिसिंग वैल्यू को निकाल सकते हैं मैडम नॉर्मली नॉर्मल तो बॉलीज का मेथड ही यूज होता है इंटरपोलेशन के लिए नॉर्मली अब नाउ अगेन अगर आप और गहरा मैथमेटिक्स में जाएंगे तब हो सकता है आपका जो पर्पस ऑफ सीरीज का उसके अकॉर्डिंगली आपको जो मेथड यूज करना है उसके हिसाब से आपको करना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू सी इट कि कौन सा मेथड की क्या क्योंकि हर मेथड की मेरिट और डीमेरिट है हर मेथड का एग्जामिनेशन है no what assumption you are taking or what are what are the assumptions of the present situations accordingly that you have to take the methods okay so thank you sir yeah, thank you very much yeah yes so uh, we are now proceeding further with the compute procedure right so so now here with the existing values which we have we can compute the values okay so computing new variable it may be possible that the user or the researcher may need to compute some or more variables from the existing variable for the effective data analysis such new variables can be created and sorted in such the uh, as such in the existing database using compute function so we have to go into trans- transform menu in order to see the compute function in the current data set the total points earned by the student as a sum of the quizzes and the final exam and also the percentage of the total points of each students will be calculated uh, as two new variables now ye ab apna kaam ye apne ko task abhi karna hai sabhi ko what first of all you have to calculate total and second you have to calculate percentage these two things are missing in your data nahi hai na dekhiye aap total or percentage naam ka koi variable aapke paas mein nahi hai now these two variables can be created out of the existing data okay and now we have to do it okay so let us uh, see how to do it go in transform go in compute variable update karte rahega chat box mein ho gaya ki nahi ho gaya sir mr ramesh kv is asking okay button is not open opening in missing value window which one some okay button okay button is not opening in मिसिंग वैल्यू विंडो सर या तो उन्होंने मेथड सेलेक्ट नहीं किया या फिर अब उन्होंने नेम नई वेरिएबल का नेम नहीं डाला ही माइट नॉट हैव एंटर द नेम ऑफ द न्यू वेरिएबल और ही माइट नॉट हैव सेलेक्टेड इवन इफ सिलेक्शन इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज हियर इट विल टेक सीरीज मीन एज अ एज एज अ नॉर्मल एवरेज ही माइट नॉट हैव एंटर द न्यू द नेम ऑफ द न्यू वेरिएबल ओके सर टेल हिम टू जस्ट एंटर द नेम ऑफ द न्यू वेरिएबल आई थिंक इट विल वर्क Thank it has I'm to work, sir. Where it will go? कहाँ जाएगा? <laughs> okay. चलो आगे चलो. Yes, sir. Fine. So uh, let us just go to transform compute variable. Okay, you will get this type of window. I hope everyone is getting this by the by the time. Again, transform compute variable. You will get this window. Hope everyone is doing. 
रवि जी yes 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 everybody saying yes okay. done yes now so, let us see let us understand first now we have to calculate a target variable the target variable we have to type the name of the target variable over here so this is the new variable which is to be computed so first of all we what we have what we are computing first of all we will be computing the total then only we will compute the uh, percentage so right here total okay here the numeric expression in order to compute the new variable has to be defined so you have to define the entire numeric expression for calculating the variable right over here in this box okay now there are three options provided to assist the researchers in creating this expression defining the new variable that is one is this this you can see this calculator pad is given over here right next is your function box this calculator calculator pad is given okay using this we can do the things next is your this function function box is there so the, it comprise of various functions if you will scroll it down you will find various functions over here and one more thing is there this if push button if so you can create you can program any variable out of the existing variable using the logical expressions if it is if okay so here logical expressions can be used mathematical oper uh, operations can be used using this calculation pad and the functions which are inbuilt these are most of these functions you will find over here are same as that of the excel so with the help of these three things you can write the expression you can write the program over here in this particular space and you can use it as such okay so there are so this is a gist of the functions which can be used so abs is there rnd is there trunk qq sqrt so all these functions are there where you can use so it actually comprise of 201 different functions so i have only given nine functions which are which can be done and the most of these are the mathematical uh, functions you can see even uh, normalities can be seen normal things can 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 be calculated or what will be the random number can be calculated and uh, all these things are there natural log is there right log 10 is also there exponential is given okay so likewise fine so uh, the now click the if if button if you click the if button again one same window will open click the if button the same window is getting open now in the if button also if you want to do some expression in the expressions so expressions in the expressions or mathematical expression with some logical expression or you have to so there is a complex programming to be done over here so that can also be done using it okay we will be using this if for for for, for some time in the in the in the, in the next computation we will may make use of this okay so this is what it is okay so i have already told you how it works so let us create the two variables that is total and percentage using this now what will be the total total will be the sum of all the five quizzes and the final exam each quiz is of 10 marks you know it very well so it takes 50 and final exam is of 75 marks so it will make a total of 125 so in order to uh, calculate percentage what you have to do you have to multiply it by 100 to make it in percentage and further you can round it off so whatever you get the score it has to be divided by 125 and multiply by 100 in order to make it a percentage so i hope you have understood what what we have to do so for this two separate sequence are required to be performed so let us first calculate total so for the variable total you have to write the target variable over here so what you have to do again you go in transform and uh, that that you already i i think having this window open with you okay what you have to do is transform and compute variables after doing transform and com compute variables here we have to write what total okay 
so you have to write total over here and then you have to write all these things quiz 1 plus quiz 2 plus quiz 3 plus quiz 4 plus quiz 5 plus final and then you have to press ok that's it tell me what you are getting as a answer do it do it do it take your time Take your time and uh, let me have a glass of water meanwhile. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have asked uh, e, e water from uh, uh, <laughs> <Bodhi> South. <laughs> so I have to arrange it by my own. I'm coming. The coffee peeing is right. <laughs> Yes, sir. So, how many have done it? So, I think everybody uh, has done it. A new Excellent. column with total of all uh, is a new column as total is created. Excellent. Excellent. So, everybody this, is, the same. this is this is what the thing is coming up as your uh, answer in your uh, uh, output uh, uh, file. So, output file is going parallelly. Do not delete or close this window. Okay. And finally, you are getting this as a total in the final one. Hope everyone is getting it. Scroll, scroll it down, whether you are getting it fully or you are getting it some something up and down. Yes, sir. Everybody, everybody is getting. Everybody said yes. Any query from anyone? Yes, Antima ji, please ask. Sir, we have values deleted in quiz 1, we have total deleted. I knew that. I knew that. That's why I asked any queries. See, when you are taking, when you are performing this function, you want to make the last variable you have made, quiz 1 underscore 1, you can add it here. Then your missing values are there. वो भी रिप्लेस होके इसमें आ जाएंगे, ठीक है? अंतिमा, वो पाइव आंसर दियो, ये जो आपने लिखा है ना, आपने क्या किया? क्विज वन, क्विज टू, क्विज एक और वेरिएबल आपका क्रिएट हुआ था, वन मोर वेरिएबल यू हैव क्रिएटेड विच एक्चुअली हैज रिप्लेस द मिसिंग वैल्यू, इट इस क्विज वन अंडरस्कोर then only this will be complete and then only you will, be, you will be able to get the proper answer. Is, is that okay? Antima? Yes, sir. Uh, she is okay. Seema Chaudhary ji. Yes, Seema ji. Ah. Hello, sir. Ah, Seema. Sir, uh, yeah. total is 0, 0, 0. What did you do? सर मैंने क्विज़ वन पॉइंट वन भी ले लिया है उसकी जगह पर क्विज़ वन के प्लेस पे लिया है मैंने अच्छा ठीक है एंड देन देन सर तब भी पता नहीं क्यों लेट मी आप यू आर यूजिंग एसपीएस सेवेंटी नहीं सपोज यस सर मैं आपको बताता हूँ आप इसको कैसे करना है हाँ जी सर तो आह आह दिस इज़ द अब आपने क्या किया हाथ से हाथ से लिखे ना हाँ जी सर ये हाथ से हाथ से आपको नहीं लिखना 
नहीं नहीं सर ये हाथ हाथ से नहीं लिखे मैंने इधर से किए हैं साइड से यहां से डाल लें हां जी प्लस का प्लस प्लस का साइन कहां से लगाया था प्लस का साइन सर ये जो की उन्होंने दिया हुआ है उसी से लगाया था हां जी सर फिर सम 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 समथिंग एल्स इज देयर ओके यू जस्ट होल्ड आई विल जस्ट सी योर स्क्रीन सर जरा स्क्रीन शेयर कर दीजिएगा एनीवन एल्स एनी प्रॉब्लम शेयर तो नहीं होगी नहीं होगी डेस्कटॉप है ना चलिए कोई बात नहीं वी विल जस्ट टेक इट ऑफलाइन मैं आपका ऑफलाइन सॉल्व कर दूंगा आफ्टरवर्ड्स ठीक है देन वी विल रिजॉल्व इट फाइन एनीवन एल्स एनीथिंग एल्स हम्म चले आगे आई होप यू हैव एक्चुअली सम मोर पार्ट कहां एवरीबॉडी वांट्स टू आंसर अदिति चट यस अदिति जी अदिति चट हेलो हाय अदिति हाय सर हां बेटा बोल सर uh, uh, मैंने ये सब डाल दिया इफ में क्विज वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस फाइनल जो भी था हुँ. उसके बाद में uh, जब मैंने कंटिन्यू किया ना तो मेरा ओके okay जो है ना वो अभी मतलब आई कैन नॉट प्रेस दैट ओके इट इज नॉट एक्टिव तो ओके एक्टिव uh, okay, नहीं हुआ है नहीं uh, तो, मतलब अदिति तुमने ये यहाँ पर टोटल लिखा है नहीं लिखा ना टोटल लिखा है मैंने टोटल यहाँ लिखा हुआ है जी टोटल लिखा मैंने फिर उसके बाद में इफ को क्लिक किया एंड देन व्हाई यू आर प्रेसिंग इफ इफ को तो इसको तो दबाने की जरूरत ही नहीं है मी वी आर नॉट परफॉर्मिंग एनी इफ फंक्शन ना अच्छा यू आर एक्चुअली परफॉर्मिंग दिस इन इफ फंक्शन उसको उसको क्लोज करो इफ वाला जो आपने खोला हुआ है ना वो इसके जैसे ही दिखता है आपने सारा तो उसमें लिख दिया और उसको क्लोज करो पहले ओके ओके उसको क्लोज करो और जो नीचे वाली जो विंडो है उसमें लिखो वहां पे ऊपर टोटल जस्ट राइट टोटल ओवर हेयर एंड राइट क्विज वन प्लस क्विज टू क्वेश्चन के वहां पे जो टोटल है पूरा वो डाल देना है हां इधर टी ओ टी ए एल जस्ट राइट इट अ टोटल बिकॉज़ दिस विल बी अ टारगेट वेरिएबल यू आर क्रिएटिंग जी 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 आई गॉट इट आई गॉट यू यू विल गेट इट यस 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 थैंक यू सो मच यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम थैंक यू या अह कैन वी टेक मोर क्वेश्चंस और सर वी कैन और वी प्रोसीड No, uh, if if the problems are there, how can I proceed? No <laughs> okay, Priyanka ji. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, sir, good actually, evening. I want to answer answer for the query that you had uh, just uh, bef- one before the uh, last one. Uh, okay. The person was not able to uh, get uh, the missing values Excellent. for the total. For the total. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, on. sir, when she has put the values in the missing components, Seema, this is for you. Seema, she, this is for sir, you. She has used the decimal value first thing, and she she ha- because in the uh, variable view we are using zero value for the decimals. But okay. now the new new value when we got we got some some something in the decimals. So we have to take off the decimal. That is the first thing, and the second thing is we have to execute the transform function one more time. Then only she will get the value in the total column. Seema, I got your point. She, I think if she execute the same transform function with the count of total sh- and she press OK, she will get the values in the total column. Ravi ji, un- unmute Seema also. Yes sir, yes sir, Seema ji, yes yes Seema ji, unmute also. I got sir. I understand. So, Antima, so, but uh, we are not able to see you. No Antima. sir. Uh, Priyanka is asking actually Priyanka and uh, Seema. Okay, Priyanka. Priyanka is yeah. also not visible. Yeah, Priyanka is. <laughs> Priyanka ji ne video show nahi kar rahi. Sorry sir, I'm not. Sorry, I'm <laughs> not in a condition to show my video, sir. Fine, fine. It's okay. Actually, yeah. see, I I get ready for all of you. I I wear different turbans every day. You might be noting it. Sir, since morning we are taking our classes and so many other stuff, so we don't have time. For... Madam, I have taken three classes today. So we will make it sure for the next class for sure. Because we will be having a group photo on the last day. Sure, sir. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone? Anything else? Run, Shubhendu Bag Bag. Yes, yeah. yes, Shubhendu ji. Okay, sir. Uh, in the uh, column of total, those rows are blank. Uh, sir, good evening. Uh, or, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, in the to- column total, those uh, row values are absent, corresponding to those uh, values which were missing. 
yeah because uh, you have actually not taken the variable which is which has actually replaced the missing value you have taken quiz 1 quiz 2 quiz 3 as i told you right yes, yes. you should have taken quiz 1 underscore 1 which yes. which is the variable which is having the uh, which is having the missing values done yes right yes. which has actually replaced the missing values you you take just replace the quiz 1 with quiz 1 underscore 1 you will get your answer. yes yes okay sir okay sir thank you yeah welcome yes kiran ji kiran ji please unmute yes sir good evening yeah good evening kiran you said now we going to edit the data and we need to add now quiz underscore one yeah i do i need to perform the same step like further first i need to go to transform and then compute variable or no no once you have done it once you have done it you have quiz one underscore one the, with the replace values no no sir my question is like we i got the total and my few values are missing and your values are missing because you have not uh, taken those uh, decimals in uh, 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 in account so abhi ruk ja yeah just now, now yeah me? just now i think uh, priyanka ji has uh, resolved the query that if you will not consider the decimals as so you have to change the decimals according because the new variable which which has been created comprise of certain decimals and you have not considered it that's why it is no, uh, sir actually my question is ki do i need to edit the same data or i need to perform all steps afterward simultaneously like jaise maine ek bar perform kar diya hai ye transform and total ka column ban gaya mera अभी मैंने इसको एडिट करना है और एडिट कैसे करना है दोबारा से वही व्हाट योर पॉइंट बिकॉज़ नो नो इट इज यू हैव यू हैव नॉट करेक्टली डन इट ना हां जी दिस इज दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट सो सेलेक्ट एंड डिलीट इट फर्स्ट एंड देन यू हैव टू परफॉर्म इट अगेन ओके ओके नो इफ इफ यू विल एडिट ओवर हियर ना इट विल बी एडिटेड नो प्रॉब्लम यू कैन गो एंड इट इज वेरी इजी देन व्हाट वी हैव लर्न सो दो यू कैन डू इट फॉर द शॉर्टकट यू कैन ऑलवेज डू इट but it will take only 2 3 steps i i don't think more than 30 seconds yes 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 okay okay sir thank yeah. you you are most welcome thank you sir yeah. anyone else uh, yes else? Yeah, sonali ji yes sonali ji unmute yourself sonali whenever sonali comes na there is something new <laughs> <laughs> come on uh, So my question is, as soon as we enter the data and we press OK, there is a dialog box appear on my screen, right? In that, it is mentioned case summary. Case summary. Ha, ah, that that dialog box which is appearing in uh, in in your computer is of the previous exercise which we have done. Scroll down, scroll it down. Uh, unmute yourself. You're not audible. Okay, so sorry. Yeah. Now I'm audible. Yeah, yeah, yours. Ah, uh, yeah. My question is like, as soon as we scroll down that particular data, which is uh, uh which we can see on our data view, hmm. that dialog box automatically disappears. Why so? Which which dialog box is disappearing? Ah, uh, so you have told us to uh like uh, do that quiz one plus quiz two. We have done that, right? After that, we press OK, right? Hmm. And uh, as soon as we press OK, there is a dialog box appears. and on that particular dialog box it is mentioned case summaries in that dialog box output and uh ah yeah yeah this one yes sir and uh, as soon as i want to compare that case summary with my uh, data view data uh, and i scroll down that dialog box disappears why the dialog so? box if you will scroll up again it will again come up actually no, what sir, the thing it is, is not coming up it will come because what the thing is whenever you are uh, this uh, i have told you that spss comprise of two files one is a yes, output sir. file one another one is a data file right on data sir. file you are working in output file you can see the output right even sir. even if you just uh, go and right click right click this, uh, this this box yes right click what it is saying you can take it you can copy it and paste it somewhere isn't it is copying option okay. is there or not yes yes, yes there is a there is one or more option copy special So you can you the way you want to copy it, it can be copied, and you can paste it in your uh, uh, in your Word file or in your file where you have okay. kept. So that that part. So when you actually that dialog box, you might have either closed the window. That's why that case summary has has disappeared. Or otherwise, all the things which you on the function which you will be performing, this will keep the inventory of all the things which you have done. So if you scroll down, 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 you will get your case summary is also. Done over here. You will you will find it uh, it it there itself. 
either okay, you sir. scroll up or down just see it you will find you will be finding it so case summaries so, are the which we have you have done before that's why in the same file it will be there so whatever we do operations we do over here that the output is saved in the separate output uh, file which is called spo file it will be having okay. extension of spo yes sir it has right yes yeah. yes okay thank you sir yeah welcome thank you sonali ji thank you sir okay randhir yes randhir ji unmute yourself yes randhir ji yes randhir ah, sir ji uh, good evening sir ji yeah good evening sir ha isme uh, jab main okay press karta hu sir so variable name contain an illegal character वेरिएबल नेम ये जो डायलॉग बॉक्स पे जो आता है हेलो सर आई एम लिस्टिंग सर हेलो सर आई एम लिस्टिंग सर बोलिए रणदीप जी बोलिए आप हेलो यस सुनिए हम सुन रहे हैं सर योर इलीगल करेक्टर इज कमिंग बिकॉज यू आर गिविंग सम स्पेस इन बिटवीन आई टोल्ड यू टू यूज अंडर स्कोर बट एज यू आर गिविंग द स्पेस दिस इज अ इलीगल करेक्टर दैट्स व्हाई रिमेंबर द रूल व्हिच वी हैव द फर्स्ट मोस्ट रूल व्हिच वी स्टडीड व्हाइल राइटिंग द नेम that it should not comprise of any spaces it could it should not comprise of any uh, any of the uh, special characters right but it can comprise of underscores if you want to give the space so when you will be when whenever you will be using a space it will give you illegal character okay yeah yeah i hope uh, i thank have you, uh, all your query randeep sir yes sir yes thank you sir okay right thank you thank you so much sir ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन सर वी आर टेकिंग प्रीति तन्ना यस प्रीति जी प्लीज अनम्यूट सर ये जब टोटल कर रहे हैं आपने कहा रिप्लेस करना प्रीति जी एक मिनट लेट अस जस्ट रिजॉल्व वन थिंग टुडे दोस हु वांट टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन दे शुड गेट प्रिपेयर्ड देमसेल्फ टू शो देयर वीडियोस ओवर हियर यस यस दे कैन आल्सो शेयर द वीडियो नो नो दे हैव टू शेयर द वीडियो फ्रॉम फ्रंट एंड ऑनवर्ड्स अदरवाइज आई विल नॉट आंसर देयर क्वेश्चन सर सर एक्चुअली ये जब टोटल कर रहे हैं जहाँ मिसिंग नंबर है वहाँ टोटल नहीं दिख रहा है आपने कहा की जो क्विज वन है उसको रिप्लेस करना है क्विज अंडर स्कोर वन से बट उसके बाद भी जब हम यहाँ ओके okay प्रेस करते हैं सर मैडम डेसिमल्स डेसिमल्स को चेक करो आप जो इसका कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वेरिएबल व्यू में आया ना उस पर डेसिमल्स आपने कितना दिया है टू दे रखा है क्या दे रखा है इट हैज टू बी इन लाइन विद द अदर क्विजेस आल्सो देन यू विल गेट इट जस्ट मिनट सर मींस ऑल द वेरिएबल्स व्हिच यू आर टोटलिंग शुड बी अलाइंड डेसिमल जीरो है सब में जीरो है लेकिन आपके उसमें सबके अंदर now the values which are which are which are missing which were missing do they comprise of some decimals the replaced values are in decimals madam 1 1 1 what the thing is ye this this query was also solved by priyanka before she did it and it was asked by uh, our seema अच्छा फिर भी हम नहीं कर पाए सर चलिए मैं ऑफलाइन बताऊंगा फिर आपको भी एक ऑपरेशन और बाकी है विकास सर कर लेते हैं अपन ओके सर नाउ वी कैन कंटिन्यू राइट ओके प्रीति जी यस सर या सो लाइक टोटल आई आई होप यू ऑल हैव डन योर परसेंटेज आल्सो परसेंट निकाला आपने आप सब ने किस किस का परसेंटेज निकल गया Done, sir. Done. Yes, yes. Every, everybody is. Yes. So now you have calculated 
the now you know how to calculate the new variables from the existing variables let us now proceed further so now another process is and this is the last process of the day that is recoding into a different variable process okay so this process also creates the new variables not by means of calculation with already existing variables but dividing a pre existing variable into the categories one of the most important thing see in practically speaking when we will be collecting data for example we have collected data for the income groups and now i want to categorize those incomes what will i do i have to use this particular tool in order to create the categories for the continuous variable on which data we have i have already taken so this will create the categories as such so this process is ideally suited for the data that includes the class class records because the, uh, because at the end of the term the teacher wants to divide the scores into different grades and even practically speaking again i have told you that i also want to bifurcate my my incomes in certain classes and that i have already determined that what what classes i want to uh, create so in present uh, example this coding is based on the class percentage variable in uh, which, which, which uh, in which percents is are like this that those who are having 90 to 100 percent they will be getting a grade 80 to 89 b grade 70 to 79 c grade and 60 to 69 d grade and 0 to 59 f grade isko zara fatafat likh lijiye nahi to uska photo kheech lijiye because we have to perform this function mobile utha ke iska photo le le nahi to otherwise write it somewhere or you can remember it the top grade is 10 first 10 percentage in top grade next 9 percentage next percentage right okay can do it 10 10 ka difference hai sabme 9 9 ka pehle mein 10 ka uske baad mein 80 to 89 70 to 79 69 to 0 to 59 f grade right so a b c d e nahi hai isme seedha f hai it means passing marks are 60% remaining all are fail okay so percentage variable can also be used to classify the subjects into pass and fail ab aap pass aur fail bhi bata sakte ho those who are more than 60 they are pass less than 60 they are fail okay now two different windows control the recoding into different variable process okay so this is the one record into different variable so first of all what you can do is you can just uh, go in transform go in transform okay you have to just a moment just a moment yeah go in transform and then record into different variables actually this one slide is missing over here so go in transform and press record into different variables you will get this particular window everyone is getting abhijit yes sir everybody is getting fine so let us just understand this window okay so there are but this window is there but this window is there and another one window will also be there which will comprise of the old value and the new value recorded into two different variables that is old and the new so here we will be doing something relating to these two things right so one is this and other is this fine so the two windows let us just first the first window record into different variables allows the researcher to identify the input variable now here the input variable is percentage and the output variable that is the grade which we will be doing and then click the old and new values so first you have to do this and then you have to click old and new values okay so here you have to identify the input variable what is the input variable over here we are having percentage as the input variable so you have to put percentage and then we have to go with old and new values now in old and new values this type of window will be there so old and new values we will be having record into different variables this, this this we will be having and then you have to actually what you are doing now you are actually changing the percentage into grade so we will when you will press old and new values window this window will appear in which you have to first write the percentage it will be like this and then again you have to write the another because now you are from percentage you want to transform it into grades and then you want to if you want to write the label you can write it label otherwise keep it blank these are the again the same labels which we have used in the variable view okay so percentage over here 
grade over here, label if you want to write, and then press old and new values. So as soon as you will press old and new values, so here it will, you have to press first this change. So percentage will be changed in grade. Okay, so you have to press this change and then you have to press old and new value. I hope you have done till now, everyone. Any problem? They have done, sir. No problem. Fine. Yeah. Fine. So while doing old and new values, you are getting this type of window again. Right. Now here, if you see, it, it is asking for a, now what, what type of calculation we are doing? We don't have values. We are now having range. We are having range from 90 to 100. The value is A. And now press add. Okay. Now this checkbox, we have to output variables are string. You have to check this box because the value is string, not a numeric one. If you will not check this box, again, you will find everything blank in your grade sheet. In your grade column, everything will be blank. So range is from 90 to 100. Value is A. You have to check this box because this is a string value. You are actually categorizing the continuous data now. Okay. And then press. Now here you can uh, width, you can even, you can, if you want to decrease it, decrease it, otherwise it is okay. Okay. So no problem in that. Further, you have to, this, this, this brain box you have to activate, then only you will be able to write 16, 1900. Okay. 1900. Here you have taken uh, mark A as a grade. And now you have to press add button. In the same way, you have to do it for B. In the same way, you have to do it for others also and everything should look like this after you have prepared and when you have already prepared it then you have to press continue so i am waiting for you do it now now here one more thing is there we have uh, you have you uh, what what ranges i have given you the ranges which i have given you is this what will happen to the value between 89 to 90 it will not show anything so please mind it, made it 89.9 or 89.99, 79.99, 69 69.99, Okay. And accordingly do the things over here. So this will be 90 to 100 is okay. But the remaining values, if you see what, what, what I have done is 90 to 100, uh, 90 to 100, then 80 to 89.9, 70 to 79.9, 60 to 69.9, and then 0 to 59.9 as A, B, C, D, and F. Press continue. Please tell me when you do it. They have done and some participants uh, saying sir, some queries. Yeah, yeah, they are saying, please tell. <laughs> I mean, they want a, a demonstration. What demonstration? I mean, they want to do it like. OK, they want to, uh, to repeat the process. I mean, you can tell them what you want to do. All the steps. Jo hai. Uh, some uh, participant is saying. No, no, that is okay. Uh, let us do one thing. If they are so keen, then uh, let they me do, do it yeah. on a team viewer. I can, I, I can go into their system. I can do it for them. Yeah, those participants who, uh, or we can do it uh, tomorrow also, sir. No, tomorrow, not tomorrow. Even today, after the after this is over. They can tell me, I, I, I can uh, be there in their system and we'll do it for them. Oh, you give, give my number to them, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, Mohammed Khanji, please uh, uh, take the number of sir. You can ask him directly. All of you can uh, take my number. 
even what i will do is i will write it over here i think yesterday have i done it or not i don't know yes sir uh, most of the participants have done it no problem hello okay sir take my number for everyone i hope it is with you uh, i will write the number sir just tell me your number done yes sir yes sir so please take my number and uh, even after the class you can tell me i will be in your computer and will do it for you in entering into your computer through team team viewer so nice of you sir <laughs> so, so even I whatever don't... queries what for whatever other big because team viewer actually enables both the person who is on the client client side also is on yeah, the team viewer and you can also use sir, any desk any desk is also good okay any desk is also good yeah i am comfortable in team viewer because i have been yes, using it since very long okay <laughs> so no no problem uh, fine so uh, this is what it is and if you uh, proceed further with it uh, if you press okay you will find the grades like this there may be some particip participants who may find some grades missing because of those missing values which we have done if you use this the original file is already with you in your uh, system apply it directly to the original file in which you have you have not deleted anything you will find the final grades like this which i am showing you over here is it okay so you can do one more exercise you can create this pass and fail on the criteria of those who are having percentage less than 60 to 100 they are pass and those who are having more than 60 they are sorry those who are having less than 60 they are fail those who are having, having more than 60 they are pass so you have to just use two criteria for that and you can record it into pass and fail so this you can this is your homework or this is your assignment so i want every one of you to do it and uh, send a screenshot to me on my mobile phone the number i have already given you okay so that will ensure assure that uh, uh, It has been done, right? Okay, sir. So this is a solution for pass and fail. Also, if you want to do it yourself, you can do it. So pass and fail will come over here as it is. Now, one more process is there, sir. How much time is remaining? Sir, I think six <laughs> thirty is already fine. Here. So we will take this process tomorrow itself, yeah. yes, along sir. with yes, the sir. other things. Okay, so, sir. Yeah. So from here and onwards, sir, we will start the things tomorrow. thank you sir can i stop the yeah, screen yeah, sharing please, please. yeah yeah i will stop it from here itself yeah is going up and down yes sir. thank you thank you once again sir yeah For... thank you and uh, anyone <laughs> any so other much. other thing any other query if you want to take now like we can take one or two questions and if uh, if something is missed uh, you can also watch the the recorded video i will send the recorded video also and we decided to keep the videos on until 31st august that is the last day of our session so they can revise or they can watch the video thank you so much sir thank, thank you so you. much once again thanks a lot thank you so and thank you so much for your patience sir uh, always uh, there on behalf of participants uh, i would like to thank you sir that you are uh, solving the problems of every participant they they also message me that <laughs> you are doing the uh, everything what they want and that is the way to actually give your patience sir because uh, after the lecture you got the call <laughs> you will get the call no problem <laughs> but just after I'm, the i'm, meeting, I'm ready for it yeah, <laughs> thank ready you so much sir thank you yeah, we will meet uh, tomorrow at the same times 